Let's see how bad you've destroyed your rear differential. I have never touched my rear differential, so that's... That is a lie. I've never touched it. As old as you are, you've touched your differential at least once. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Welcome to the shop. I'm Jared. And I'm Tavares. And this is a piece of crap. That's... <laughs> That's not what we regularly <laughs> do, is it? This is uh, Tavarish's old SC300. That's yeah. not a piece of crap. It's actually a really cool car that we tracked down, brought back. We talked about some of its flaws in the last episode featuring it. Um, are, you, are you pointing out a flaw? Maybe, or it could be the best addition to any car ever is my face on the hood. And no, I did not ask the artist who did this to put my face in the hood. What did he tell you when he told you? I can't say that on YouTube. Hey, do we have the hood prop? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hood prop here? Okay, thank you. And what are we gonna start on first in here? So what I'm thinking we do is all this wiring, like we just like Whoa. figure all this out. Hey, Freddy. Yeah, I know, dude, this wiring is, Freddy. it's not really that bad, but. We've got a big problem. So I know we need to put like some double-sided tape around here. You're, and... you're missing a lot of something right around there. Yeah, dude. I mean, like this. What? So I gotta ask you: Do you plan to just uh, shave it off, or are you gonna try to keep it? I think I probably shave it. Like uh, this, I'm, talk I'm talking shave. about your hair, man. What? We, we've. I don't know if you've noticed. It's getting a little thin up there. <laughs> um. Okay. I mean, I I'd like to keep it. And that's the perfect opportunity to talk about today's sponsor, Keeps. So two out of three men, by the time they're 35, will experience some form of hair loss. If you couldn't tell by now, I'm already there. Now, the way you solve this is by doing something while you still have some hair left. And there is a solution and it's called Keeps. Now, Keeps is revolutionizing the way men are treated for hair loss. They send you a three month supply right to your door so you can avoid pharmacy lines and weird doctor interactions. So this is an aerosol foam that you use for the next four to six months. And guess what? That's what I'm gonna be using so you guys can see the results in real time. Not in real time, because that would mean the video would be very, very long. You guys will see the results on the channel in the next months. And I'm very, very excited to use this. And if you guys want to get a hold on your hair loss, then go to keeps.com slash wrench every day to get 50% off your first order. That's K E E P S dot com slash wrench every day and go try it out. I am really excited. This is going to make me look beautiful again. So now that we're done poking fun at your hair or lack thereof. Yeah. Let's get started on this. One thing I would like to do before we get too in depth working is we're gonna grab the shop back and get some of the pine needles, some of the rodent deposits. Deposits, yes. Uh, one can say surprises. Yeah. Uh, presents. Pre uh, no, uh, raisinets, snacks. Those aren't snacks. <laughs> Don't eat them. You will get very, very sick. Worse than what's going around now. Yeah, so we can fix well, all this and then Get to this. We can go through and fix everything wrong with the car and do a 30 part series. Mm -hmm. But we are going to do the the few things that you can do right, that were almost done right, some were done wrong, and get it driving again. Because one thing you've not done with this car in 12 many, years. Many, yeah, many, plus, many, many years, yes. Is drive it. Yes. So we want to make sure he still loves the car so we can- Oh, I love, the, I love the car. I, it doesn't matter if it drives <laughs> or not. I love this car, but I do want to get it driving. So yeah. I think we're going to do some maintenance. We're going to do an oil change, spark plugs, uh, change out the diff fluid, the trans fluid, uh, coolant flush, and also fix this nasty, nasty wiring for the cooling fans. Maybe take out some of the interior components that allow us not to see so well. Like the headliner that's drooping and remove the exhaust from the trunk. Also, these tires are really bad, but yeah. we're just gonna, we might send it. Um, yeah, we always send it. Now, the real question is, do we get the draggy out? No. You, you don't wanna do the drag? I'm not gonna do the draggy because these tires are actually dangerous. Do you realize I took my 1971 International Harvester with a this dragon. Is not a, this is not an argument. This is not an argument. Do you realize I took my national? It doesn't matter. Okay, this is 
a performance machine. It deserves performance tires. These tires are dry rotted, they're old, and they're also mismatched for this car. So I'm not taking any chances. That neither sounds should like... you, and neither should you, That's my friend. Okay, let's get to work things that matter today. Vacuuming, a lot of sucking. G oh. <laughs> What did you do? Uh, it's cleaner now, I think. Well, well, yeah, when you do a fan delete when we were gonna rewire, that's one way of making it clean, but it hurts long-term longevity of an engine. I'm not gonna do a delete, uh, but I know that the mechanical fan on this car is actually a little bit more efficient than any electric fans that you can put in. Even though electric fans usually are known to be more efficient, it's a little weird on this engine specifically. Uh, usually the, the higher horsepower cars, I'm saying high horsepower, like 500 or something, they usually use the mechanical fans. And uh, it's a little bit hard to come by sometimes. And I'm wondering if this is maybe a little too little space uh, so I'll have to space this out a bit and I'm definitely gonna have to get a new AC condenser and Basically do everything here over so whoever Told you that information about the cooling fan. That sounds like a smart guy That you wasn't remember, you. Do it. That was not you. I remember having that discussion on the super build Yes, but I remember having that discussion on the super forums probably many, many with years me ago. probably with you Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're you're just lurking Lurking in my DMs before I even know who you are. So um, I think we're done up here. I did loosen the oil filter, which is like in this <laughs> this valley. So it might be leaking a little bit. We got that wire cleaned up. Uh, not the most beautiful, the but one, it one is. wire cleaned up. Well, you also got new spark plugs in there. Yep, we've got the new spark plugs gapped down to 28 thousandths. And long, long ago when he did his last set of spark plugs or first set of spark plugs, mm -hmm. he used a roll of electrical tape each on them. Well, it wasn't just electrical tape. I also used heat shrink. Uh, so I okay, just got so you did the similar shrink. repair. Yeah, so, so um, they were known to crack and, uh, and then they would ground against the block and then you would have no spark. So that's not good, especially with a turbocharged car. A uh, performance. This is perfor this twin turbo, my friend. Twin turbo. It looks this like the engine is no. actually better than the one in your Supra. This is newer. This is a Gen 2. They had, they had generations, right? Do you know what the difference is in Gen 1 and Gen 2? The, the turbo piping. Do you know why the turbo piping's different? I don't know. To, accom fixies. to accommodate crankcase pressure changes. Okay. So uh, that mine's makes, newer. Makes so that, no that, horsepower. Therefore, it's better. Mine looks a lot prettier, and it's in a car that looks a little nicer. I don't think so. If yours have your face on it, I don't think so. Your argument is invalid. So let's get this up in the air. And Wait, you don't want to do it 19-year-old Freddy style? How? Scissor jack, cinder block, and we'll find some dirt to put under it. And you can scoot waddle underneath. I'm going I'm to say no on that. What color do you think this is going to be? Uh, black. Okay. It's just going to be... You think? The color of night. There's a little brown, mm -hmm. a little shiny copper. Shiny copper? A little bit of water. How dare you. We're about to find out if we are gonna get to do, were you, what size wrenches were you using on this in the past? Cause you're asking me what I did when I was 19? Cause the answer is I have no idea. So, well, we don't have a new fill plug, so. It's got good transmission fluid in it. What about right here? What about this guy right there? Why don't you take that off? Why would you go through the reverse? Because you can get fluid in there. 
this is was meant to be a quick lesson. Before you pull your drain plug, always pull a fill plug. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to drain your fluid and have no fluid in it. The other reason is if we pull and fill by your fill plug, you're going to be I'm, one inch overflow full, which is almost a full quart. I might. I think I might have done that. Because as you can tell, the fill plug is a seen some better days. There's no side left. It's <laughs> round and kind of egg-shaped. How dare you? How right. dare you? Well, let's go back. And I see. thought you were a mechanic. Let's see how bad you've destroyed your rear differential. I have never touched my rear differential, so that's... That is a lie. I've never touched it. As old as you are, you have touched your differential at least once. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. All right, let's see. What years of... Okay, so we're going to have to chisel a hole. Why is this car so difficult, Freddy? It was built in 1992, and then I found it in essentially a junkyard, and I bought it for $400, and now... I think the... Oh, no, the, I see what happened. Someone jammed a Torx... Instead of using an Allen, they jammed a Torx bit in it. That wasn't me. I didn't know what Torx bits were when I was 19. Well, let's grab channel locks to see if we can get it loose. Is this, is this an approved method of what you're doing? It's called having to be carefully destructive. Right. Using the right wrench and not destroying a socket's approved method. But... We're past that. Just slipping. Yep. Hmm. Did you get it? Nope. What did you do? Oh. Always make sure to yank as hard as you can so when the tool gives way, you can yeah. smash your hand against any sharp edge. Yeah, that is. That wants to stay forever. Maybe we should let it stay forever. Maybe, maybe, hold on, hold on. Maybe this needs to go bye-bye. Hammer? Maybe this doesn't need to be in the car anymore. Maybe we need a better transmission? I agree. You, you're going to need a better one to keep up with Earl, so. When you say keep up with Earl, you realize that I own Earl, right? Well, right, but I'm going to drive Earl, and you're going to drive this because it has your face on it. It's like putting the driver's name on a car. That's, yeah, putting the, their face on the car. So you just put your face on it. So. Right. So um, this is a different sort of build. I am not going to be any sort of tire slayer. This is going to be a nice car. I want this build to be what I had envisioned, <laughs> what I had envisioned, uh, when I was 19, except, uh, you know, not complete and utter garbage like it actually is. Also, uh, take a look at this. You never, you never complimented me on that. So these are hockey pucks. They're hockey puck mounts that I made. Did you learn that from Earl? No, uh, I actually didn't. And that doesn't make any sense because this was built way before. But I couldn't get any 2JZ mounts or 1JZ mounts when I did this swap. And I decided just to go to the local sports authority and uh, get some hockey pucks. And they were like seven bucks. And I ended up, ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm lubricating your hockey pucks. Good, good. They need lubrication. It's been a while. So that just goes on to say, like, the people who kind of were ripping on me for using hockey pucks on Earl, it is a very common standard practice. They're the right durometer. It's okay. These have lasted how many years? Yeah, they're and they're, they're and they're totally fine. So, yeah. oh, almost dropped the filter there. If you have a mount available, cool. If not, hockey pucks work beautifully. I think we could probably get some mounts though. Nah. Yeah, we should we should probably get some mounts and and a new clutch line and new new brake line uh, and a new transmission and a turbo kit and probably brakes and, and fuel system, fuel system, suspension, exhaust. Uh, but that's it. No more than that. Oh, also uh, all the body work, uh, interior, uh, wheels and tires. Okay, one rule. Did I say brakes? You have to paint the car yourself. No taking it to anyone. I'm going to take it to somebody because I hate painting. No, nope, you're going to paint the car. If you're you're going to paint the car for me. If... We're yeah, gonna, you see we're, that? We're see that? You don't paint. like that, do you? We're going to paint the car. No. Doesn't matter. No, we're not going to paint the car. We're not painting anything. I'd rather put the car together mechanically and then have somebody else paint it because it's going to look like crap.
No, not if you paint it right. Now, part of the enthusiasm comes from the fact that he now wants to build the car. It was just get it together, what on earth am I going to do with it? And then the moment we started wrenching on it, it brought back his memories of kind of how much he loved the car. Okay, let's change so. the oil and I want to I want to start this. I want to start it. Ah. There's some nice liquamoly. There's some synthetic. Hmm. I'm thinking some car quest. High mileage is in order. Did you open this already? No. So this is used. <laughs> Why is it used? Are you sure it's used? Yes. That well. That does. That smells like peppermint. That does. <laughs> well, why is it? I don't. Here. What on? That's not. That's not oil. So why? Why do you have that in your new oil storage? And why does it smell like peppermint? Yeah, right there. Are you sure that's not peppermint too? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, where is the funnel? Right there in your hand. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's let's try this. Let's let us. Watch the expert. Aha. Look at that manual dexterity. Now I really can't see anything. Oh, oh look, look at that big old mess. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. If only somebody hadn't put freaking light in my eye. So how much oil is supposed to go in here? They call for five and a half quarts, given the big dent in your oil pan. You probably only hold five, but <laughs> every J series engine I put together, I put six. Okay. It's, it's a good thing we got you keeps. Oh, wait, one more thing. What? The air filter. Jared, why are you still talking? I want to start the car. Does it have electrons? Uh, probably. Okay. That is open. Let's close this. That's a huge funnel. We could have probably used this. Remember, when I picked it up, he said, start it with your foot on the floor. Yeah, that's that's not good advice. Never. So, Especially on a fresh oil change. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, why didn't you have to floor it to start it? Because I know what I'm doing. What are you doing there? Uh, if you take a look, the uh, gauge cluster is kind of doing its own thing. Uh, it's in party mode. Yeah. Oh, it's... Is that normal? No. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, gray smoke. Mr. My valve stem seals don't smoke. First of all, it's not gray smoke. That is probably all the spiders in the crap. <laughs> so, I, I really want to build this up. I think that uh, I can redo the intercooler, single turbo, um, do a standalone fuel system, fuel system, just everything. Paint that... the valve covers, uh -huh. uh, body work. I still say you have to paint it. That's good that you say that. No, it's not not, not going to happen. Yeah, I'm in love with this car. <laughs> I, I am. I am really thoroughly enjoying this car, and uh, hopefully, people enjoy this car along with me. I do. My 1J is better though. It's not. We, actually, that we can race those. What about what about if I get this like nice and clean with a with just you know stock oh. twins and then we race? That would be really unfair to you. Oh, would it now? Would it now? I have the best, the pinnacle third generation Supra. Okay, your third generation Supra weighs like a million tons. It's less than 3,400 pounds. Oh, okay. Your door weighs 3,400 pounds. Well, run without doors. Who cares? <laughs> All right. So uh, I think we should. I definitely think we should race though. So where? I what, don't know. what type of race? Quarter mile. 
Oh, that's really not fair for you. It is. How do we usually end these things? Because I'm about to go home and start ordering parts for this thing. So what you're saying is I need to keep you here a little bit longer so it doesn't turn into too much project creep. It doesn't need that much, just needs everything. everything. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm Jared. And I'm Tavarsh. Reminding you to always make questionable choices. And if you buy your friend a car, just let him spend whatever money he wants on it. You're not gonna stop him. <laughs>